Boom. A high school sports will now be adding another piece of equipment to the field or court, body cameras. Umpires and referees in Clark County have been wearing them during games to minimize the amount of ejections. Fox 12's Polina Aguilar has more. Well, Pete and Riel, we've seen across the country that parents, fans, coaches, and even players have gotten a little too fired up when it comes to calls made by umpires and referees. So the hope is that these body cameras will help lessen in these intense situations so that everyone can enjoy the game. 100 body cameras were distributed to umpires and referees across the state of Washington, including right here in Clark County. The volunteer-based pilot program began in December of 2023 during basketball season. Justin Kesterson of the Washington Interscholastic Activities Association says this was a way to cut down the number of ejections during games. We had very few um, technical fouls uh, that were uh, um, issued during those basketball games. Um, we know that the number of contests uh, that where the an injection occurred uh, in where the cameras were used was was drastically decreased. Kesterson says the cameras allow coaches and players to be on their best behavior. And we've also just seen that you know the behavior uh, of students and coaches. People don't want to take no for an answer. And then there's the issues of, of people following umpires and stuff and, and officials out to their cars after games and waiting for them outside and, and trailing them home. And, and I mean, there's all kinds of situations. The WIAA reported that there were a total of 89 ejections across eight boys and girls sports during the 2022-23 school year. Boys soccer had the most with 21 ejections, followed by baseball with 20 and football with 19. They announced that they have a camera on and then they flip that switch on so that uh, the coaches um, and then the captains can see what it looks like um, so that they know. And um, and then they, they turn it off uh, at the plate meeting. And then if something happens during the, the contest, then they flip that on and it goes back and records the 30 seconds previous um, and logs that in. Meet Joe Lambert. He's been an umpire at all levels for 20 years. Umpires, when they leave the fields, a lot of times they feel not safe at all. You're not going to get every call right. You're human. Umpires are humans. They have emotions and feelings. Anytime I leave the field, I will go off the field on the winning side. And has had his fair share of interactions. This person was yelling and screaming, and it was really disruptive to the game. So I stopped the game and went to the coach and said, if you don't get your fan under control, then you will forfeit this game. And then what happened? Uh, he got him under control. With nearly $50,000 spent on body cameras already, they've seen how cameras can cause people to react in a different way. They think twice, right? Because they can see themselves. Uh, the screen is outward facing. And so when they are arguing with that official, they can see themselves in real time, what they look like when they're yelling at the official if it, if it gets to that point. I'm told that they want to make this a permanent practice and add more cameras into the rotation, including this up-and-coming football season. Reporting in Vancouver, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12 Warriors.